In this episode of OS First Timer, Dinah will be using Rain Meter to customise the look of the Windows 11 desktop. Will Jarvis from Iron Man impress her, or will she prefer something a little darker? Keep watching to find out. So today you're going to be trying out a program called Rain Meter, which is for customising the look of your desktop by adding widgets or applets called skins that display information. So let's get right into it now and I'll show off some pre-done layouts. I'm going to activate a layout right now. This layout is called Northwest. And it shows on your desktop what time it currently is. Mm -hmm. All stylized and nice fancy writing, a polar bear, then good afternoon diner, and you can access my computer documents downloads mm -hmm. there. There's supposed to be weather there, but I don't think it quite came out properly. But do you do you think that's cool how you can style it? It's like an computer? operating system. My in computer, a way, my documents. In a way, yeah. And if you really want, you can hide that in fact we will. We'll hide the taskbar to uh really make this feel like another Yeah, but what what's the To give it a style. Point of it's the it's sort of a customization and style. Click on for for example, Wisp, and load. Up here in the top corner, you can see the time and the date. You've got access to open programs and stuff. And you've got, look, the time here, 5.37 p.m. with a ticking clock, November. You can give your desktop you know an interesting look. That yeah. actually looks quite good. I like that broken tile thing yeah. with the continuous picture. That reminds me of the family picture we have downstairs where the spa bath is. Oh, that correct. reminds me of that. I really okay. like that. And so you can see the RAM here yeah. and the swap, the GPU you how hard it's well obviously you're not playing a game so the GPU is not really struggling much but what do you think about this customizing your desktop to look however you want it to look and display information or shortcuts to programs and stuff to tell the truth I actually don't mind it that when one, you yeah. showed me the other thing and I thought well how is that different from an operating system it's got your programs it's got the you know what I mean yeah oh wow look at this one yeah so this one showing look the time in the sun thing here and the date there and it all looks very Japanese doesn't it? It does look Japanese. You see, and you can have programs here and stuff and yeah. it's displaying information and it's actually it's quite info. elegant this one. Yeah. And I like the colours. You know the red and the black and the white actually really go. Of They're course. so simple but they actually go. Exactly. Now some skins can get pretty crazy. This next one is called Jarvis. A superhero type thing. <laughs> so basically here, it's I think there's like an operating system or something or an interface called Jarvis that Iron Man uses or something like that. I haven't watched Iron Man, so I have no idea. There's a lot of things going on. Yeah, For it's me, supposed to be, it's too busy. It's supposed to be a hyper busy look, you know, and stuff. And like you can do, it's a functioning. What is that one doing there? What What's the function of that? Okay, That's that not one might just anything. be for looking fancy. But, you know, you've got things here, links to YouTube and stuff like that. See at the side here. You can open your downloads and what is and this one doing there? Like, see, if you click downloads, it opens yeah. your downloads folder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know but, what I mean? But what's that one doing there? Which one? This one. I don't know. Um, but basically, yeah, see, and what's that one doing? Yeah, they're just looking cool, see? okay? But look, here, they have these, no function, these are even, they're just yeah. distractive. Well, some of them are functional. And clutter. For example, like, for example, well, just keep the functional. If ones I click there. on Edge as an example, Edge opens up. You mm. know what I mean? So, th so they are functional. You know, and there's more programs, Excel, Google Earth, and stuff. You can put them all up there. It's supposed to just feel like that. And look, 27 November. Do you like the stylized words and stuff, like the date in a special way and stuff? Mm, that that looks okay. So, for some reason, I actually don't mind that there. What this? Yeah, I don't these. mind that, and I actually don't even mind that. That the little download the functional. And stuff yeah, and I don't. I actually don't is. mind that. You know what there should be? Yeah. There should be a little extra bonus if you happen to click the thing that you want when that thing gets to it. Oh, it like should come up it with at the a right surprise. Time. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's going to like should. line up. Now, Rain Meter can be quite fiddly and not all the skins come with a pre-made layout. For example, the skin torn paper. So right click Rain Meter in your taskbar and we're going to go over to skins, but don't click it. Mm-hmm. And then go to torn paper and then go to clock and choose the top one and put that on the screen where you want it. So click and drag it. And that shows you what time it is. I and you can like put it that. anywhere. And it's like it rips your desktop. I don't paper. like the green background. I'd rather something, I don't know, a little bit better than that. Yeah, you could probably customize it further, but that's just hmm. an example there. System this time, maybe. And choose that. Oh, there's only one choice. Yeah. 
And then that shows you how much used RAM. So we're using 3.4 gigs of RAM out of the total of 8 gigs of RAM that I've set for this virtual machine. Okay. See? And you can place these little bits of information on your computer and go again. Weather's probably not going to work, but we'll try it. Yeah, okay. And it's got, got a blue got background. Up. Yeah. There was also another option for the time if you want to have the time looking a bit different. And that, that's the other option. But I think that's a bit the first version. Well, a bit small or? it's That's a bit less intrusive. Oh, okay. And let's say you wanted a desktop background that's a bit different to this. So open Chrome and choose a desktop background that you feel would go well with torn paper. He's good. You have him. You love him. There might be others. You know what we technically could have done? Yeah. We actually technically could have got AI to generate the image. We but the have. potential problem with that is that the seagull could have ended up having three legs. That's right. Or so, like. so what you do here, if you wanted to actually save this as one of the layouts, you'd give it a name and you'd say torn paper, right? Yeah. And we click save and it adds it here. So that means if we go to another one like the shotgun one and then we come back to torn paper... It's, uh, so, yeah, you can make a bunch of layouts. You've just experienced some skins I've pre-set up, and you've also sort of set up a skin that didn't have a layout, which mm -hmm. was this torn paper one. I want you to find a skin online that you can download for Rain Meter and see if you can get it all set up. Over 781 skins for Rain Meter. Let's have a look at them all. So you've got some, they've recommended oh, Jarvis, yeah, no, which is similar to what that. you've got, Fountain of Colours. Then, oh, look at that one. It's like the That's time actually and then interesting, things come yeah. down like that, yeah. <clears throat> Glass. I don't mind that one. Glass shard, so it's pieces of glass that display information, oh, broken glass. That's actually really part. interesting too. No, I, uh, this one. The glass shard? Yep. Okay. We'll download skin, and then when it's finished, click on to open it. Perfect. So um, we're and just going to install everything. Yeah. So you've got some options now. So this is an initial when you first start it up. You can choose a few settings here. So choose a wallpaper. It's actually got birds. Okay, click on it then. So which wallpaper do you are you like feeling that you kind of like? They're an idea. It's saying if you choose this blank one here, then you can start putting shards coming out mm. of the sand like that. You get what I mean? So they're ideas. Funny thing. Yeah. I actually... The like road, this. misty forest. Okay, click yeah. on that. So, what would you like? Like, maybe click on some of these shards here that you've got to add. So you can have the first two. I can have the first two. Click on oh, large. Yeah, yeah, click yeah, on I large. See. Oh, there you go. Now put that where you want it. Actually, that does look good. Yeah, it's there. like it's coming out of the grass. It's <laughs> like you're driving on a road and there's and information. There's information. It's a future. <laughs> maybe grab that one too, and that can go on this side. Maybe I'll get a medium one of this one. There it is. And where will that go? That'll go there. Like that? Okay, yeah. perfect. So this person's trying to create sort of a paid skin, you know? They're trying to make a bit of money with their skin. Like, oh, look at this, but there's some extra features. You can get them. Yeah. Sort of like DLC type thing. But anyway, so here you can see it says Wednesday, 27th November, 2024. You've got the RAM. You've got the time there, you oh, know? Oh, that's gone dim. Oh, oh, it goes dim Oh, and you put your while. cursor and, and they flicker. And it's a flicker <laughs> look. Do you get what wow. I mean? So there's colours that you can set. So obviously you can make them pink glass and stuff if you upgrade to pro. Oh, you get what I mean? But you just, so. by default, it's the sky colour. So you've got gentle activate using volume icon on skins. Oh, that, that. that's it. Oh. So you've got sort of a rain sound. <laughs> that's really, and that goes with this. Yeah, it does. Because look, it looks like it has been raining. It's all like a little bit. Exactly. Oh, that actually really goes. I wonder what the jungle night is. Why does oh, that goes with this too because it's a foresty thing at night. Ooh, that makes it creepy. Imagine being in your room at night all by yourself hearing and that. And look, as the crickets. Oh. Oh, yeah, the horn. Yeah, yeah. I keep thinking something's going to jump out and scare <laughs> me now. Okay. So let's see if we can get the weather working. So I'll just quickly enter the weather. Well, it sounds here. like the weather's occurring right now. Yeah. With it. I can't seem to get this to work, the weather code. Oh, whatever. Never. The weather is always hard, <laughs> whatever the weather. It's very um, unpredictable. So that could be literally your desktop. Mm. And you just have it That's like that. That's a very interesting yeah. desktop. And I like the way it then Yeah, and it away. comes off. And I think if you put your cursor on it. Oh, no, it just comes back randomly so tell me what you think of rain meter as a program that can give your desktop that extra interesting spice you know, extra information on style and there are a lot of different styles as you saw you know oh, there are so there, you many. can you could spend hundreds. your whole life uh, yeah. looking at all the extra styles 
<laughs> so what do you think of Rain Meter? Is, is that a program that you feel for people who want to customise the look of their desktop and stuff, make it more interesting? Because, I mean, someone walks past, whoa, look at your... Yeah, it looks like an animated background there, you know? Yeah, it, it does. I, I actually think... I mean, look, it's one of those useless things, but... Oh, it can display useful information and have links No, stuff. but displaying it in specific ways doesn't add more use to it. It just adds an aesthetic... You know, it's more aesthetically pleasing or it's interesting or do you, do you know what I mean? Yeah, okay. But it doesn't add any usefulness to it, you know. Is it more useful than the desktop cube? Well, technically, the, oh, yeah, the desktop cube, you can still look at things yeah. in different, yeah. Okay. Well, no, they're probably as useful as each other. <laughs> as in, they're, they're for aesthetics. They're just yeah. for, so you don't get bored to, to type things. I'll tell you where I see it. I see sort of like the high school nerds and stuff. They bring out their school computer, open it up, and everyone's, other students, whoa, you've got a cool computer. How do you get that? Yeah. I want to set it like that, you know. That's where I see it. But anyway. Well, it is a conversation starter. Yeah, it is. So there you go. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of OS First Timer and we'll see you guys in the next episode see you then